The Clash has a new home in 2025. Welcome back to Break Hard, I'm Matt. NASCAR announced on Saturday night that The Clash will move from Los Angeles to Bowman Gray Stadium to kick off the 2025 season. February 2nd, Network Fox, NASCAR's Cup Series drivers will be making their way around the famed quarter-mile short track at Winston-Salem State University's football field. Well, it's in the center of it. The famed madhouse, as it's been dubbed, for all the chaos and absolute lunacy that happens at that track will host the Cup Series for the first time in 54 years. Uh, NASCAR senior vice president of a bunch of different things. Ben Kennedy was on hand Saturday night at Bowman Gray Stadium to make the announcement, and the people there seemed very enthused about it, and they absolutely should be. Winston Sam is going to be harder than Smile and Bob in one of those Enzite commercials from back in the day. Old NASCAR fans are absolutely going to know what I'm talking about because they are getting a major event for February at Bowman Gray Stadium. It's a big time deal, right? You're getting all 36 of the NASCAR Cup Series stars to come to Winston-Salem and have a race there. It's going to be interesting. Of course, NASCAR did do some next-gen testing at Bowman Gray Stadium back when they were getting ready to debut that car. But other than that, there hasn't been any big time racing there basically in 54 years. They, of course, have their modified weekly division that races there. They have you know their sportsman classes, late models, they used to do k and East Series race there, which is now ARCA East. But for the most part, Bowman Gray Stadium has not hosted an event this big. They packed that stadium out. I was there back in the springtime, and it was a really fun experience. Yes, is Bowman Gray the WWE of, of short tracks, of NASCAR? Absolutely. It 100% is. Just like two weekends ago, they had a very large man in the 21 car throw a temper tantrum like a toddler, park on the front stretch, and then stomp his little butt off. But it wasn't little. He was waddling his his way out of there it's chaotic it's insane and maybe announcing this the week after you have one of the most controversial finishes ever in nascar history eh, wasn't maybe the best timing but i am excited for this when nascar took over operations of bowman gray stadium uh beginning this year you had a feeling that this was going to happen did i think it was going to happen within 12 months no probably not but as nascar i think continue to look at possible locations for the clash there wasn't one that really jumped out at them they didn't want to go back to Los Angeles that is a big spin for them having to build a racetrack within the Los Angeles Coliseum and last year took a major hit on that having to move it from Sunday to Saturday watch that in the airport as I was supposed to be in Los, headed to Los Angeles for that race but I, I think that there wasn't really a better option right then for them uh, for at least 2025 and putting it at Bowman Gray you know NASCAR fans are always talking about we got to get back to our roots you got to come back to the southeast NASCAR needs to do this hey listen NASCAR is literally getting back to its roots they're going to a famed short track a one of the most famous short tracks in the southeast love it or hate it Bowman Gray Stadium gets people talking it certainly has that going for it do I think we're going to see the craziness that we see in the modified division or the sportsman classes for the cup series no Absolutely not. I think you're going to see good racing. I think you're going to see a lot of bump and run. It's obviously a single uh, lane racetrack on the bottom. Shifting is going to be weird because uh, I think they're absolutely probably going to figure out how to do how to do that. But for the most part, this should be an entertaining race. For all the people that are getting mad about this, this is an exhibition race. Does not matter. It is not that serious. It's like getting mad over preseason NFL football. Why do you care? These guys, half of them aren't even going to make the team. This race does not count for the championship. It does not matter. And then you have the people being like, they should bring snow tires. Listen, you had a better chance of snow in November up in New Hampshire when they ran that back in 2001 after Thanksgiving. I'm not too worried about February 2nd in uh where we at? Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Hasn't snowed there in over two years. I don't think it's going to snow that weekend. And hey, if it does, let's go ahead and plow the racetrack, put some salt down, let's run these cars, and have the infield be covered in snow. Yeah, that'd be highly entertaining. It'd be one of the weirdest visuals we've ever seen uh, at a NASCAR Cup Series race. It's absolutely going to sell out. They have just around 17,000 seats at Bowman Gray Stadium. There will be 17,000 plus people in the stands for that event. For that racetrack, for that area, this is a massive get. Today's video is sponsored by Driven Sunglasses. Head over to drivensunglasses.com today. Use code BREAKHARD at checkout for 20% off plus free shipping. These are the classic frames that they have. I really enjoy these frames. I wear these on a daily basis, especially when I'm walking the dog. Drivensunglasses.com. Use code BREAKHARD at checkout for 20% off plus free shipping. I, I went, I was there back in the springtime, and I wouldn't exactly say it's a bustling city. I wouldn't say it's a growing city. It's in that triad area. Maybe. I don't know how you people in North Carolina go about your geography and calling it the triad and all the other different things that you have up there. But 
For the most part, Winston-Salem very much looks like a lot of like Midwestern cities, kind of been forgotten about. The 80s, late 70s is the last time it was really looked like it was updated. Lovely place. I have nothing bad to say about the people there were super nice. The facility was really nice. Great bathroom set up there. The parking situation, fantastic. The police were friendly. Getting into the racetrack, super smooth. I loved going to Bowman Gray. I have nothing bad to say about Bowman Gray. This is a big time get for them. This is massive for them. This is going to be a nice little bump to their economy at a time in February where it certainly wouldn't be the biggest like tourist attraction out there. Of course, they do have Winston cigarettes there. You can see it off in the distance, or at least what was it from the stadium. But it was it's a great racetrack to go to. It's really cool that the Cup Series is going back there. I'm not absolutely cannot get upset about this because it's an exhibition race. Even if NASCAR would have taken this race to Mexico City or wherever else, I'm not going to get mad about it. It's an exhibition race. And for the teams, this is a much cheaper alternative than going out to Los Angeles. Winston Salem's like what an hour plus from from Charlotte, Mooresville, wherever you're located at. Yeah, this is an easy trip for them up and back. Everybody can sleep in their own beds at night and not have to really worry about too much. So for Winston-Salem, big time get for NASCAR fans that are, are upset about this. Don't be. Why would you be? You don't have to watch it if you don't want to just take the week off and join us in two weeks from then at the Daytona 500. That's totally fine as well. But I'm excited to see what this looks like. Um, I think the drivers are probably going to be excited as well. It's short track racing, right? It's the Joey Logano the short track racing or Danny Hamlin, whoever said, <laughs> said that I blanked on that one. But let me know in the comments what you think about NASCAR going to Bowman Gray Stadium for the first time in 54 years. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at Break Hard, Instagram, Twitter and Facebook at Break Hard Blog.